Winner. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. What's new? How was your day? It's the same teacher. Work. 
and more work. Yep, yep. That's the reality for many of us, work and work. What, what about you? I had a, a good day. I was in my house. I'm teaching from home, which is an advantage for me. You know, I don't need to uh, travel to any specific um, places. So I do it from the comfort of my home. You know, my children are noisy, they're playing and everything. And sometimes they interrupt while I'm working, but I love it. More than us. What is it? More than us. What do you mean more than you guys? Más que nosotros. Damos más que que You know, children, they have their uh, particular things of doing things. So, but it's, it's okay. I like it. I love it. I thank God for my family, for my work, for my life. Good evening. Good evening. So that's how it is. All right, welcome back people. Thank you for being punctual. All right, what's today's date? Today's date? Thursday. Thursday, how do you spell Thursday, tell me? D H U R S D E D A Y Y D A Y capital T or lowercase capital lower lower or capital 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 very good what is the capital. Word? Uh-huh, capital T. What is the month, people? March. March, yes. Can somebody spell March? March. Can somebody spell March? M-I-R-C-H. Okay, M-A-R-C-H. Capital M or lowercase? A capital. Capital, what is the date, people? 24. 24, and the year? 2022. Very good, what time is it now? 9.30. What time is it now, people? 9.30. Can somebody tell me? 8.03 p.m. 8.03. 8.03. Good. All right. Let's begin. Let's talk about yesterday. What topics did we cover yesterday? Mm -hmm. Which topics did we cover yesterday? The schedule. Schedules, yes. Schedules that people have at their workplace. What workplace in particular were we working on? Was it a factory, an office? Restaurant. Factory. Yes, it was a restaurant. Yes, restaurant or cafeteria, yes. So we were discussing the fixed schedules that people have for their particular activities, right? Okay, any questions about yesterday? Questions about yesterday? No teacher. Okay, Thank so let's begin. Yes, PM. Okay, let me open the book. 
All right, before anything, what sections of the platform are you having problems with? Give me a second while I, what sections of the problems are you having problems with? Yesterday, someone commented that they had problems and I completely forgot to mention that in the class. Um, what, what kind of problems are you having? What part of the platform? Or you don't have any questions about the platform? Yes, teacher. What section? In, in, in the unit one, exercise, no, la tarea dos. Okay, unit one, exercise two. Let me open the platform. La oración cuatro, porque no me la, no me la agarra de ninguna manera. Okay. Ahorita vamos a ver eso, Delmi. Give me a second. Ya hemos ordenado varias veces y no está rojo siempre. Okay, let me check, let me check. Me too, I have this problem. Okay. Same problem. How do you say estamos a punto de revisarlo? How do you say estoy a punto de... Recuerde, si está con música o televisión, please keep your um, microphone off. I'm about to. Ahí está en el chat, mire. I'm about to. Estoy a punto de. I'm about to check the platform. I'm about to give you an answer. Okay, Gmail. How many hours do you guys usually sleep? How many hours do you usually sleep? Seven hours or five. Okay. All right, give me a second. I have a crazy dog in my house. How do you say ladrar in English? Barking. Barking, yes. So he barks for no reason. Give me a second. Give me a second. Module six, <coughs> section one. Okay, unit one, exercise two, number four. En mi caso, toditas, las, las cinco no me las acepta de ninguna manera. Ok, let me check. Gracias. Para mí la cuatro y la cinco también me están dando problemas. Ok, give me a second. Lo mismo, teacher. Ok. No. But okay, uh, homework exercise two, number four. Teacher, es la unidad uno. Yes. Oh. 
but I don't know how to. There are one. Exercise two, number four. Siguiente. That is. That is. <coughs> okay, number four. This is. This. It's right here. We can solve would be a good option to have happy employees. Period. In the in, in option of this staff. Right, right. Por eso quizás no, les, no, no se las agarra. Sí, ninguna agarra. Okay, we can solve would be a good option to have happy employees. Copie esa y la pone para ver si le funciona. Okay. I'm going to report this. How do you say we will have to write? It says we can solve would be a good option to have happy employees. According to the platform, that is the answer. But like some of your classmates said, uh, in the exercise, they include staff as an option, but they don't include it in the option. Ahora sí. Okay, good. We can solve be a good option. Excuse me? Uh-huh. We can solve will be will be a a good option to have happy employees. Exactly. Okay, what number? La, la quinta, la siguiente. Okay, it says Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. Uh -huh. Try that one. Inventory department. Great help no. in no. the inventory department. Period. Can you see my answers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay. What other sentences uh, are you having problems with? The first ones. The first one. The first one? One and two. One and two. This one here? Yes. That's it would be a great opportunity to study a it would be a good evening. opportunity to study abroad. Good evening. Ahorita no me sale bueno, teacher. Yes. Pen and paper y después las mete a la, a la platform. Anything sí. else? Any other sections, people? No. No? No tenía problemas. Ya las demás. Ok, very good, pero ya apunté Thank esa presentación. En la número 4 aparece la palabra staff, pero a la hora de, de poner la respuesta, no, no. no. A mí la me sigue dando mal. ¿Cuál? Eh. La 5. La 5. María could be a great help in the inventory department. Period. En la Period. Siempre tiene que cerrar el, el, la oración con punto. Yes, Carmen. En la cuatro también, en, para donde está, para ordenarlo, hay dos A. Ok. Y en la respuesta solo hay una. Solo hay una, sí. Exactly. Exactly. Exacto. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anything else? That's a good observation too. Anybody else? Sigue dándome más la cinco, no sé por qué. <laughs> really? Asegúrese, María tiene que ir con capital y después de department tiene que ir un punto. ¿Después de? 
department al, te, al terminar la oración. Yes. María could be of great help in the inventory department. Yes. Ok. Y aún así That's... se la da mala. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Alguien más que no le acepte la número 5? A mí me da buena. A mí okay. no me acepta la 4, teacher. ¿Perdón? Teacher, la 4 igual eh, la pongo exactamente como está en la respuesta y no, no me la toma como buena. Really? Ok. Vamos a esperar hasta mañana. Trate de arreglarlas mañana. Y si persiste el problema, usted me... me, me... Me lo deja saber y yo le doy forward a su mensaje para que la administración pueda arreglarlo. Thank you. Anybody, any questions, any comments? No. All right, let's take attendance. Attendance. Fíjense que hasta que ya estoy en, dando la clase con ustedes, me acuerdo que la luz esta blanca me queda lejos. And I need a lamp near here. Lo voy a poner en la agenda de mañana para ver si. Y mi papá tiene uno en el cuarto y creo que no, le, no, la, no lo ocupa. Give me a second. Please say present when you hear your name. Maricela Velasquez. No, Maricela. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Moises Rodriguez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Helen Barraza. Helen Barraza. Ok, thank you. Ruben Campos. Presente, teacher. Good. Lisette de Paz. Is absent. Noemi Vázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elsa Merino. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Judy Cuellar. Judy Cuellar. Carlos Avendaño. Present. Good. Jose Correa. Present. Thank you, Jose. Susana Jiménez. Thank you. Thank you. William Perez. William Perez. Juan Delgado. Present teacher. Okay. Kenya Ruiz. Present. Thank you. Delmi Gomez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Godínez. Present. Thank you. Alex Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Ana Mercedes Amaya. Present. Good. Andrea Vázquez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Calderón. Present teacher. Good. Juan Armando Alvarez, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. 
Juan Ricardo, Juan Ricardo. Reina Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris Cañas. Iris Iris. And Rafael Barrientos. Present. Very good. Give me one second. Teacher, I'm here. Uh, Judy. Yeah, Judy. Give me a second. Judy, Judy. Okay, I got you. Give me a second. Thank you. All right, let's begin. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Thank you. This one is good. Bye. Okay. okay, good. All right, we're on page 20. Did we finish exercise one on page 28? Watch is regularly. They at you were please like. How was it? Are you? Okay, did we finish the exercise number one on page 28, people? Page 28. Terminamos el ejercicio uno en la página 28. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Right. Did we do part two? We didn't do part two, did we? <laughs> did we finish part two? Teacher. Yes, sir. Mañana le voy a presentar los dos pendientes porque tengo dos pendientes. Disculpe. Okay, no problem. La la fai donde lo dejó lo. Formulario. Ajá. Ok. Terminamos la parte 2 en esa página, Pipo. Yes, teacher. We did. Ah, sí, la demás, sí, teacher. Ok. Yes, yes, Thank you. yes. All right. So please go to page 29, HR mm -hmm. procedures. Uh, I, I had um, the second part, not the, not the first. Which page? In 28. On 28, okay. In the first part, uh, I don't finish. Mire, no, no sé si es mi, mi memoria la que me está fallando, pero yo no recuerdo haber hecho la parte 2 de la página anterior donde está la chica. No, teacher, esa parte no. No, no. no. teacher. No la hicimos. Yeah, the, the part no. one. The first. No. No okay. le hicimos, yeah. teacher. Only the, first. Only the part one, but we don't check the answer. Okay. All right. No. Okay, so I need a volunteer to give me the answer for number one on part one. Me, me teacher. I always pick up the tables. Okay, pero... En la parte uno, no revisamos la respuesta, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. No, teacher. No, okay. teacher. So this is what we're doing right now. Volunteer for number one in part one. It yes, works from 6 p.m. to 4 p.m. Exactly. So, Jeff works. Ese works lleva una S from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. 
Very good. What about number two? Jane and Pete. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Jane cleaning the tables every day. Very good. Number three, Mark. Mark what? Mark doesn't take. Good. Or Mark orders. Uh -huh. Very Mark good. doesn't take. Good. Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesday. Orders on Wednesday. Very good. Mm -hmm. Fiesta Wednesday, capital W or lowercase? Wednesdays is capital W. It's fine. Okay, number four, our restaurant. Our restaurant what? Opens. Opens. From. Opens lleva una S. Opens from S. 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. What about number five? Our boss. Our boss. Spends. Spends. Much time in the restaurant. Number six, we. We what? Don't close. We? Don't close. Good, very good. We don't close on Sunday. We close. And number seven, they? Expect. They expect. They expect. Yes. So how are more clean? Clients this week. This week. Yes, they this expect week. to have more clients this week. All right. Questions or comments in number one? All right, let's go to part two. Write sentences using the words in parentheses. Aquí usted puede poner el, per, el personal pronoun que más le parezca. Yo le aconsejaría que uh, use la tercera persona singular, que es la que lleva más práctica. Porque la tercera persona singular, ¿qué le hacemos al verbo? What do we do to the verb? Agregamos S o S. Ajá, we add S or ES. So hagamos la parte dos, los seis ejercicios using third person singular. Go ahead, people. Excuse the interruption. ¿Quieren el midterm exam mañana o el lunes? Tomorrow or Monday? Monday, Monday. teacher. Monday, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay, Monday. 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 Oh, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday is impossible. Saturday. <laughs> Sean. Sheldon. New fruit and fruit
Hola. Bueno. You guys ready? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Yes, sir. Good evening. I'm sorry for being late. <laughs> Don't worry. Who is talking? Yeah. Now? Who's talking? Ricardo Alvarenga. Ricardo Alvarenga. Yeah, I'm working right now. God. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga, I got you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. How many more minutes do you need, class? I already, teacher. What about the rest of the class? How many more I minutes? I finished, do you need? teacher. Huh? I finished. You're I finished. finished. I have a question, teacher. Yes, Carmen. Um, in the number two, use. Seldom and right. three, rarely. Rarely, uh huh. Y es lo mismo. They are synonyms, yes. ¿Por qué en uno, una y el otro, la otra? En el tres dice rara vez y en el número dos pocas veces. Mm. They are synonyms. Okay. En number four no lo he podido hacer. <laughs> okay. Eh, sometimes close early. Ella por veces cierra temprano. Ya le mandé, teacher. Good, very Don't good. Don't, teacher. Okay, one more minute, people. One more minute. Three. 
Excuse me, Lori. Teacher, y en el número uno, por ser <coughs> tercera persona, ¿qué es lo que cambia? Eh, solamente cambia que al verbo usted le tiene que poner una S. Entonces usted diría, picks up tables, or she always picks up tables. Ok, thanks. Entonces, cuando es tercera persona singular, usted siempre al verbo le va a poner una S o ES, cualquiera de las dos. Dependiendo cuál es la terminación. Entonces sería en pick. Pick, exactly. En ah, el número okay. dos sería changes. En okay. el número tres sería hires. Y así sucesivamente. Ponerle ese al verbo. Thanks, teacher. Very good. Sí. All right, volunteer for number one. <clears throat> Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. He always picks up the tables. Very good. She always pick up tables or the table. Very good. What about number two? Anybody? A menu change. Welcome. Okay. Well, come again, please. A menu change. Welcome. Okay. Who? The restaurant seldom changes the menu. Okay. That's a, that's a, another option, Juan Ricardo. The restaurant seldom changes menu. Changes. With the yes. Kitchen menu. Uh -huh. Okay. Number three. Anybody else? Patricia rarely hires the new employees. HR rarely hires new employees. Very good. What about number four? Number four. Number four. Me teacher. Why the hardly ever promote change? In things. Number four. What is number four? She sometimes closes early. Okay. She sometimes closes early. Close, early. Closes. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. What about number five? The company hardly ever gives away promotional items good the company hardly ever hardly ever gives, gives away gives away items. promotional items excellent very good and what about number six the bank never closes on mondays very good the bank never closes on mondays excellent very good job congratulations any questions on section two No. Are we okay? No, teacher. I guess so. No, teacher. Okay. HR procedures. A ver, sin, le sin entrar en la lectura. What is the function of HR? What's the function of HR? HR, human resources. Okay, but what is the function? What do they oh. do? Okay. Um, here they, they have personal reception. Okay. Personal for the companies. Okay, they hire personal for the companies, right? What is the, what is the opposite of hire? Ah, despedir. <laughs> okay. Fire. Fire. fire, exactly. Hire or fire. Does HR offer promotions what's the meaning of promotions in english ascenso 
Ascensos, very good. Promotions no son promociones, sino que son ascensos. Promotions, give me a second. Promotions. Promotions, quiere decir ascensos. Right? Okay, other functions about, about HR. Interview and employees. Excuse me? Interview and new employees. Interview new employees. Yes, very good. Okay. Can HR make changes? Can HR make changes? Puede hacer cambios, HR? <coughs> Yes, yes, he can. Yes, they can. Cuando decimos recursos humanos, we put double H and double R. ¿Por qué se dobla la, la, la letra esa? Mm. What is the reason? HR. Así se, se abrevia recursos humanos. O cuando usted dice Estados Unidos, de igual manera, repite la <coughs> misma letra. ¿Por qué? ¿Anybody? <coughs> Porque las palabras están en plural. Entonces, cuando la palabra está en plural, se repite la letra. Entonces, usted dice recursos humanos. Tiene que poner RH dos veces. Estados Unidos. Unidos. Tiene que poner doble E, doble U. Entonces, es la razón por la que se repite la letra, porque las palabras están en plural. Ok, any okay, questions or you. comments? No question. No question. Okay. No. ok, very good. So we go here. It says, what do you know about the HR department in your company? Make a list. Entonces, ahí nos piden que escribamos una pequeña lista de las cosas que hace HR. Póngalas en su cuaderno. Go ahead. Escriba cinco cosas que hace HR.
Listo, teacher. Okay, one more minute, people, one more minute. All right, so let's put the answers on the chat. Let's put your answers on the chat. Las que tenga listas, no necesariamente cinco. Las que tenga listas, whatever you have ready. Interview of goals, sanctions, and acknowledgement. Very good, Elsa. ¿De qué otra manera se le llaman a las sanciones que van por escrito? Me dieron una, ¿qué dice? de personal. Exactly. AP. Making of payroll, interview new employees, provide uniforms, performance evaluations. Yes. Uh, las planillas varían en las compañías. Hay veces que es HR quien las hace. Hay veces que es accounting. Hay veces que es el propio dueño. Uh -huh. Hires new employees, fires employees when so it's required. Very good, Susana. Who else? Quien más? Mm -hmm. Interview new employees, make changes to work, schedules, change workplace of employees. Very good. Hires new employees, he fires persons, people is better. He changes the schedule, he can promote employees and he can interview stuff. Very good. Interview new employees, they fire employees, provide the right equipment for the job. Very good. Hire new employees, interview, make changes in the schedule, fire employees, ensure their rights. Very good. Recruit the right staff for the company, make the deposit of the payment that corresponds to the month of each employee, calculate overtime of employee. Okay, very good. Interviews for the new staff, they handle the payments to discharge staff with bad behavior. Yes, ensure the right of employees. Mm -hmm. Alguien puso ahí, quiero ver quién fue. Judy Cuellar puso discharge. Esa es otra forma de decir uh, despedir, discharge. O darle la baja. Ensure the right of employees. They make the payroll. They're in charge of receiving disabilities. They organize Christmas party. Mm -hmm. Employee interview, employee payroll, update policies, hire the right employees, maintain employee records, process payroll, conduct disciplinary actions. Very good. Coinciden uh, varias de las uh, 
funciones que están poniendo en, en, en uh, HR. Studies and approves the best candidates for available vacancies. Organizes activities for the benefit of the company's personnel. It is responsible for the preparation of employee pay slips in our company. How do you say pay slips in, in, in Spanish, people? Pay slips. No son boletas de pago. Yes, son las boletas de pago. Pay slips. Así ah, aquí está, lo puso Delmi. Very good. Pay slips. Son las boletas de pago. Very good. Change is looking for looking for Miss Chavez. What do you mean, Reina? ¿Qué quiso poner ahí? Reina, Reina. Perdón, teacher, es que pensé que estábamos haciendo lo de la conversación, pero ya entendí que no es, sino que lo que hace la persona de recursos humanos. Exactly, exactly. Okay, anybody else? Questions or comments, people? Excellent, you guys are doing an excellent job. Very good. Now we go with the conversation. I need a volunteer to read the instructions, please. Mr. Chang. Anybody? Solamente uno, only one. No se peleen. Todos van a tener chance de leer. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Mr. Mr. Yes. Chen is yes. looking for two employees at RC, RC company. company. Listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with the partner. Very good. So here we go. Pay attention to the pronunciation. How do you say subrayar in English? Underline. Underline. Ahí se lo voy a poner en el chat para que se lo eche a su bolsillo. Underline. Underline quiere decir subrayar. Underline. Okay, so here we go. Mr. Chang and Mr. E and Dorian. He says, excuse me. I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she's the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides uh, recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He's the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Questions? Teacher, what do you say? Ba ba basic core. Basic basically. Core. Where's basically, basically, basically? Basically, okay. Donde esta no veo es? In Dorian. Uh, Dorian. Dorian. Oh, basically, basically, básicamente, basically. Y recuerde para decir administrativo, you have to say administrative. Se lo digo porque muchas veces la gente dice administrative, but it's not administrative, it's administrative. Administrating. Yes, administrative. Administrative, administrative. Everybody says administrative. Please repeat. Administrative. Administrative. Yes. Administrating. Administrative. Yes. Okay. Questions or comments about the conversation, about the dialogue. What is the mean? What is the meaning of the <clears throat> is which word? I, I, where can I reach him? Where can I reach him? Donde puedo ubicarlo? Okay. Thank you. Reach significa alcanzar. Pero en este caso no dice donde puedo alcanzarlo, sino que le está diciendo donde puedo ubicarlo. Uh -huh. Question. Teacher. 
Yes. What does it mean? Uh, recruiters. Uh, recruitment. No. Yeah. Recruitment. Es el coordinador de reclutamiento. Ella es la coordinadora de reclutamiento. Thank you. Sure. Cuando usted va a una entrevista de trabajo, ¿cómo tiene que ir vestido o vestida? Formal. 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 Someone else. Depends of the work. Exactly. It depends on the work. Claro que independientemente cuál sea su pretensión laboral, uh, el llegar formal, llegar vestidamente formal no, no le va a afectar en nada. Pero generalmente se tiene que ir vestido según la plaza a la cual usted está aplicando. Questions or comments? What time is it in the picture? Five to three. Five to three. Very good. Okay. Any other questions or comments about the conversation? How do you say lentes in English? Glasses. 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 How do you say candado in English? Goatee. Goatee. Excellent. Goatee. Nice. Así tienen que responderme todos. Go. Nice. Okay, so vamos, let's practice nice. pronunciation. Uh, si yo estuviese trabajando con Carmen Calderón, yo empezaría siendo Mr. Chang y ella sería Dorian. Cuando terminamos, ella sería Mr. Chang y yo sería Dorian. De esta manera todos tenemos acceso a practicar la, la pronunciación. Recuerde, se dice administrative. 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 Okay, let me prepare. Responsibility. Responsibility. Right. Okay. Yes. What do you say the word responsibility? Uh, let me see. Responsibilities. Yes, responsibilities. Responsibility. Responsibilities. Okay. Yes. Right, let me check this here. How do you say candado? Goti. 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 Ahí está escrito, mire, goti. Candado, no el que pone en su puerta, sino el que algunos hombres se dejan crecer. All right, give me a second. 23 people, that's a very good attendance. Thank you for being present. So I will make 11 groups. Seven. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Practice your pronunciation, your fluency, your accuracy. Francisco, can you hear me?
Hello, hello. Hello, Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. I need you help me, teacher. Yes, ask me, Maricela. I have problem pronunciation the words. Which only word? words. Um, well, and um, donde dice she is the requirement. Eso no lo sabemos pronunciar. Okay, give me a second. He provides recruitment administrative? No? Recruitment. Oh, oh recruitment coordinator. Recruitment coordinator. Recruitment. Y la Re otra es... Recruitment. Donde dice este Doria. Donde dice basically. She provides recruiting administrative support. Recruiting. Yes. Recruiting. Y la última, teacher. A thing of. Uh, where? Ahí mismo, en, la, en lo que dice Doria. Basically, that provides rec uh -huh. recruiting. recruiting oh, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. Recruiters. Yes. Recruiters is the word. Other word is management. 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 Yes. Manage. Management. 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 Yes. Management. Yes. Y consultant. Así. Ah, consultant. 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 Como con acento, consulta. Exactly, consultant. Consultant. Yep. Basically, lo estamos pronunciando bien, teacher. Basically. 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 Yes, basically. Basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, only question. Okay, let me visit another classroom. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Bye, Andre. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Responsibility. This meeting is being recorded. Go ahead. Okay. For Ricardo, le toca. Sure. Hello, how are you? Fine. Fine, teacher. Good. Ya repasamos, teacher. Ya lo practicaron. Ya lo practicamos. Very good. How is your work? How is your workplace? My workplace is the Veterans Institute. Veterans Institute? Yes, teacher. What do you do there, Carmen? Uh, uh, okay, well, the well, well, director well. of credit inversion and credit. Oh, good. Investment. Investment and credit. Ah, okay. Good. Nice. Good. What about you, Iris? Uh, I work in financial institute. Yes. Yeah, financial institute. Oh, okay. And uh, I, I am uh, the idea for shares. Okay, that's good. And where is it located? In is my it case, San Salvador? it's San Salvador. Okay. San Salvador. Okay, what part of San Salvador? In Avenida Bernal. Avenida? Bernal. Avenida Bernal Bernal. Avenue. Yes, near the military hospital? Mm. No? Más hacia el sur. Ok, más hacia el sur, buscando la Miramonte. Después, buscando la Juan Pablo. Oh, near García Flamenco. Yes, arriba. Ok, good. What about you, Iris? What's the location of your workplace? For El Salvador del Mundo. Okay. Okay, good. 
Any questions about this exercise? Esta, ¿Cuál era la palabra, Iris, que tenía? Recruit, recruitment. Ajá. Recruitment. Rec recruitment o recruiter. Ambas. Ambos. Porque aparece, no sé. aparece ese lexical set. Aparece recruitment. Um, recruitment. Recruiting. Recruiting. And yeah, creo que aparecía recruiter and recruiters. Y, recruiter, y este con ING recruiter. también. Recruiting and uh -huh. recruiters. Excuse me? Con ING. Right. Ya. Yeah. Básicamente ella provee ayuda administrativa de reclutamiento. Recruiting. Recruiting. Yes. Recruiting. Yes. Ajá, la pronunciación de. Teníamos dudas, entonces recruiting and, and the other recruitment. Exactly, exactly. Uh, recruiting and recruitment. Y el, el que termina con RS. Son reclutadores. Ajá. Recruiters. Recruiters. Yes. Recruiters. Exactly. Okay, Any teacher? other questions? Any question, teacher? Okay, let me visit one more classroom and then we go to the main session. Okay, okay. is being recorded. <coughs> See, we have people returning. Channel. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Ask me, please. Eh, no, yo no estuve en la clase de ayer, ¿verdad? Pero puede explicar cómo vamos a hacer lo del Mirchen. O sea, no es personalmente, sino que lo vamos a hacer con usted el día lunes. Sí, eh, esa, esa es un examen escrito que todos mm -hmm. deben de tomar. ¿Qué tema vamos a ver ahí? Todo lo que hemos visto hasta ahorita. O sea, que, o sea, siempre lo vamos a trabajar en la plataforma, pero no como los módulos anteriores que nosotros lo hacíamos solo, sino que esta vez lo vamos a trabajar con usted. Sí, digamos, yo les digo, ok, el examen va a ser el día lunes a las 9 de la noche. 
Okay. Yo les comparto el examen a todos, usted lo desarrollan y ya me lo devuelven con sus respuestas. Ah, uh, ok. Teacher. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Pero yo ya lo hice. ¿Really? Ah, pero usted debe haber hecho el de la plataforma. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, pero yo también tengo que darles uno. Ah, es otro. Es diferente. Yes, it's another one. Hay, hay dos. Eso teacher. no sabíamos. Oh. Ah, cabal. Yeah, hay dos examen. Yeah, there are two exams. Exactly. Y yo contenta que había pasado, ¿verdad? ¿Perdón? Y yo contenta que ya lo había hecho. <risa> ya no, sacó está bien. Ya, ya, llevan buenos indicadores de que vamos, vamos bien. Si ya lo pasaron. 20 se sacó ya. De... <risa> Ese examen es después de la sección 2, ¿verdad? Uh, sections 1 and 2. Sections 1 and 2. Exactly. All right. So, y recuerde, todo lo que vemos acá no es como requisito para que usted llegue al, al, al intermedio uno, sino que esto es para el resto de sus vidas. So, no es un requisito. Ah, tengo que pasar para llegar al intermedio uno. No. This is something that you should practice uh, for the rest of your life. Yep. Okay, okay, questions or comments? No questions, no comments. Vamos a ver acá. Who is Miss Chavez? Who is Miss Chavez? According to the previous conversation, who is Miss Chavez? She's, She's the recruitment coordinator. coordinator. Very good. She's the recruitment coordinator. And what do you think Mr. Chang does? Is for the reference of two employees. Okay, so, so what do you uh, think? Mr. Huh? He is looking for reference of two employees. Okay, so what is his position? Oh, um, I don't know. Anybody? What's his position? Reception, receptionist. Receptionist, maybe. Anybody else? Are más? ¿Qué creen que es la función de Mr. Chang? Supervisor. Supervisor, maybe. Supervisor. Yeah, yeah supervisor. Yes. Okay. Yeah, porque no solamente está preguntando, sino quizás ya casi que cuestionando. ¿A qué se dedica ella? ¿A qué hora se hace esto? Okay, so maybe a supervisor. Yes. Okay, let's continue. This one here, you have uh, different people. You have the recruitment coordinator, you have the benefit specialist, tail management consultant, and human resources general. So uh, what you need to do is as, las tres preguntas que están en la parte cinco solamente son para el uh, recruitment coordinator. Entonces, eso es lo que usted va a leer ahorita. Uh, el, el profile about a recruitment uh, coordinator. Bachelor's degree. What's the meaning of bachelor's? Título. De bachillería. Licenciado. Licenciado. Título de licenciatura. Bachelor's. Yes. Organizes schedules of candidate interviews, opens and posts requisitions, coordinates internal and internet job posting, has a degree in management, works with and supports a recruiting team, has five years of experience, works on weekdays, works part-time. So este es el profile of recruitment coordinator. So, entonces, lea el recruitment coordinator y según lo que usted entienda, así va a responder las tres preguntas en la parte 5. Let's go. Okay. Can you see my book? Yes, teacher. Okay. Go yes, ahead. teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank <sighs> you. 
Pachelero.
All right. Let's get the answers all together. What does the recruitment coordinator do? What does he do? Anybody? The recruitment coordinator organ organizes is schedules. The schedule of candidates interviews. Good. What else? <laughs> Open and post requisition. Okay. What else? Coordinate, Coordinate internal and internal job posting. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. What else? Which teams does he work with? Yeah. Anybody? Works with and supports a recruiting team. A recruiting team, right. Okay, let's check the next question. What is the recruitment coordinator's uh, experience? Uh, What's the experience? Five years. Five years of experience, right. And when does he, what does the recruitment coordinator work? When? When, when weekdays and works part-time. Okay, and works part-time. Right. Questions or comments? Teacher. Yes. Podría, podría leer los cuadritos y algunas palabras me trago. Perdón. Que si podría leer los cuadritos porque en algunas palabras la pronuncia. Okay. No sé cómo yes. Recruitment coordinator, bachelor's degree, organizes schedules of candidate interviews, opens and posts requisitions, coordinates internal in internet job postings, has a degree in management, works with and supports a recruiting team, has five years of experience, works on weekdays, and works part-time. Any questions there? Questions, questions? No question. Uh, what did you coordinate? Uh, coordinate internal and internet job postings. That one? Okay. Coordinate. Uh -huh. Yep. Thanks. Any other questions? You're welcome. Any other yes, questions, please. people? Work with and support and works with and supports a recruiting team. Recruiting. Works with and supports a recruiting team. Yes. Teacher, que esas palabras me cuestan. Quizá a mí en lo personal me cuesta un montón. ¿Cuál es? Ajá, esa que está diciendo esa. Works with and supports a recruiting team. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. También, okay, please. Huh? También ayuda bastante en el traductor. Aparece en la, si escriben la palabra, les tira la pronunciación. La pronunciación. Uh -huh. yep. Y así me las aprendo algunas. Yep. You have to give yourself a lot of input. Tiene que usted bombardearse con input para que usted se encargue de hacer el output. Yes, that's a good technique. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Exactly. Anybody else? Any questions? Any comments? <coughs> no? Okay. So, teacher, please. Yeah. Perdón. En el otro cuadro, hay la segunda. Es, es development. Develop. Develops and maintains competitive, progressive, and proactive compensation plans. Develops and maintains competitive, progressive, and proactive compensation plans. Okay. Questions or comments? 
Any questions, any comments? No. No. So here we go with this activity. Ahorita vamos a empezar a trabajar with a job interview. One person is going to be the recruiter and the other person is going to be the uh, candidate. So en parejas usted se tiene que poner de acuerdo qué va a preguntar el, el, el reclutador y qué va a responder el candidato. Uh, tuvimos ya la oportunidad de hacer job interviews exercises, ya tuvimos la oportunidad de hacer ejercicios de uh, entrevistas de trabajo eh, puede revisar en internet if you want pero lo ideal sería que uh, que usted cree sus propias preguntas any questions or comments no ¿Ya han estado alguna vez en una entrevista donde dos, dos personas les están haciendo las preguntas? No, teacher. No, teacher. Ok. No, teacher. Sucede. Sucede. Hay veces de que usted llega a una entrevista sí. y, do y dos personas lo están entrevistando. Mi teacher. ¿Qué okay. hace en ese caso con el eye contact? Con el contacto visual. Si digamos Reina Margarita y Judy Araceli, ellas dos me están entrevistando. Reina Margarita me hace una pregunta. ¿Con quién debo de hacer el eye contact? Con ella misma. You sure? ¿Con ella misma o con ambas? Ambas. Yeah. Yeah. Lo ideal es con ambas. Y lo mismo sucedería. Si Judy Araceli me hace una pregunta, cuando yo respondo, debería estar haciendo eye contact con Reina Margarita y con Judy uh, de la misma manera. De esa manera, porque acuérdese de que según el, la, la posición por la que usted está aplicando, eh, pueda que su función va a ser estar hablando con gente y probablemente le van a enviar dos personas a la vez. So, eye contact uh, is very, very important. Es como cuando usted está dando una clase y tiene a 12 personas. Usted está al centro del salón, usted no se puede enfocar solamente en uno, sino que usted tiene que estar haciendo eye contact con todos los que están ahí presentes. No solamente muestra respeto, pero también usted está monitoreando quién está en el teléfono, quién está eh, haciendo otra cuestión, and so on. So, ahorita lo vuelvo a poner en parejas. Una persona va a ser el recruiter, otro va a ser el, el, el candidato. Haga las preguntas que usted quiera y le responde de la mejor manera posible. Any questions or comments? No. So, where are we going to take the the, the questions? Uh, you write the questions on pen and with pen and paper. Y una vez lo tenga ahí en papel, se pone a practicarlo. Okay. Got it? Yes, got it. Okay. Thanks. Recreate. Recreate. Y si le toca trabajar con dos personas más, pues ya tiene que ir. Okay, we're gonna put this person. All right, let's go, people.
We still have a few students that are not here yet. Two, four, six, a couple of people. So we have come to your favorite part of the class. What is your favorite part of the class? I finished. Say so to sleep, the beginning, teacher, the beginning. <laughs> okay, very good. So we're gonna continue with this activity tomorrow. Uh, please remember the person that is working with you. And um, who's gonna stay uh, tonight for a couple of minutes? Quien se va a quedar? Who's staying? Me, teacher. Okay, Noemi, thank you very much. So the rest, good night. Thank you for your time. You're doing an excellent job. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night, friends. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Noemi, how are you? Fine. You're Fine. in Apaneca, right? Uh, I work in Apaneca. Okay, and where do you live? I live in Ciudad Real, Santa Ana. I am here in my home. Oh, okay. Do you, go, do you go to Apaneca uh, every day and come back to your house? No, I stay in Apaneca uh, from uh, Monday to Friday. Okay, except today. Except today. Okay, good, very good. Except How today because you? because the pickup is uh, is in taller taller in the shop. In the shop. Okay, good, good. So, how many people are there in your family, Noemi? Uh, for moment, for the moment, uh, only my husband. Okay, but you have children, don't you? Uh, I have two, two sons, uh, and but uh, they have uh, have have two 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 children each. Okay, so, so you have four grandchildren. Yes, I have four uh, four grandchildren. Are they in Santana? No, uh, they. They believe in, they live in San Salvador. Okay, good, good. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, Noemi, do you have any questions about the classes? Um, well, these classes uh, is, is uh, more, is clear, clear, clear okay. for, for me. All right. It's good. clear for me. Okay, and you have studied before, haven't you? You took classes before. Uh, excuse me, I don't understand. You took classes before. Ah, okay, yes, yes. yes. Uh, Where? Where? I, I, in the university. Okay, mm -hmm. nice, very good, good. UTEC, in la UTEC. Oh, okay, good. Free courses or the career? Uh, in the career and the free courses, free courses in, in, in Safor. Oh, okay, good, mm -hmm. good, nice. Sí. All right, any questions or comments, uh, Noemi? Uh, well, uh, for a moment, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, very good. Okay, so you have a good night and thank you for these extra minutes. Thank you very much, teacher. All right, have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Adios.